In New Bern, almost 100 people spent their lunch hearing stories of women from the 19th and 20th centuries. That's right. New Bern Historical Society hosted the luncheon for Women's History Month. This comes on the same day as the 156th anniversary of the Battle of New Bern in the Civil War. WNCT's Courtney Allen reports. New Bern is known for its rich history, something shared with the community Wednesday as five people played remarkable women from the city's past. It was a great honor to be able to share this story. Tisha Glover shared the story of Sarah Dudley Petty, the first free woman born in her family in 1869 in New Bern. At such a young age, she was able to be a champion for women's rights in the 1800s. And the, the work that she did then at such a young age has affected my life today. Other people portrayed were Lula Dissaway, a medical missionary who delivered 10,000 babies, Bayard Wooten, the photographer who named Pepsi Cola and made their logo, Katie Brownell, who helped soldiers in the Civil War, and Charlotte who fought adversity to become the first black registered nurse in the state. Very, very good. Very well, 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 planned out. Laura, they're rehearsed. I think seeing the amazing things women do hopefully brings to light the things that women do contribute in this community and the need for us to have equal rights. It's extraordinary the challenges that decades ago women had to overcome to be successful or to pursue their passions in life. Glover says discovering and portraying New Bern's history is inspiring her to find her passion in life. Now that I know what great things happen right here in New Bern, what am I going to do next? In New Bern, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side. Men and women of all ages attended that event. Several people we spoke with say the challenges faced then are still relevant now.